What is up everyone and welcome to the first of many videos revolving around a brand new, very exciting project that I'm going to be working on as my sort of first big thing of 2016. Now as you guys know I recently announced that I'll be moving within about three weeks. So I hope, to, I hope this is going to be the last project uh, here in the old school IMNC HQ, the room that I've done all of my videos. I want this project to go out with a bang as almost like a celebration. Um, so I've been planning on doing this for a while. I was going to hold off until I moved, but to be honest, um, this, this is going to be great fun to do here as like a last big thing. Now, unfortunately, I can't reveal full details of the project because that would spoil future surprises uh, that I've got in store. But I am going to say that I have got the first part in front of me here. This is a Corsair AX860 80 Plus Platinum PSU. So as you can probably tell from that, it is indeed a PC build. But it's a PC build with a massive difference that I think that you guys are going to really enjoy. Uh, something that I haven't... <laughs> As I nearly stabbed myself. Something that I haven't seen on YouTube before. Um, so let's dig into this. Now, another clue as to how this project is different is this PSU is from eBay. But I was hunting eBay for a PSU and possibly other components, there's another little hint, um, for the most brand new looking and brand new presented components that I could uh, within my price range um, that did what I wanted them to do. And this this PSU, I want it for a considerable amount below what it goes for on Amazon or anything like that, what it is brand new. So as you guys can see, this is pretty much how you would receive it if you bought it brand new in a shipping box and then with the retail packaging within. So let's take a little look. AX860 is a high performance ATX power supply uh, 80 plus platinum certification. Energy is a really important thing to me, especially now because I'm going to be moving out. I've really got to keep an eye on the bills. A very slight angle alteration there, folks. Let's figure out how you dig into this. As you can see, the box is in pristine condition. Like I said, this is pretty much brand new, and this was the whole point. Um, this is like, yeah, the whole point to this project, really. Now, the reason I'm unboxing it, I would like to keep all of this stuff just in the boxes until I actually um, go ahead with the project. reason I can't do that is because, of course, they're eBay purchases. I need to test the stuff that I get through straight away so that if there are any problems, I can send them back or contact the seller or just go through um, that process because you don't have to worry about that so much when it's brand new. Now, as you guys can see, this is the yeah, This is perfect. This is really, really perfect. Open it up, and we are presented with the documentation, which is great. We are also presented with a sticker cable bag. I've already got one of these with all the cables from my other AX PSU in, but yeah, this feels like quite a bit more cables. And then, of course, we have in here. And I'm going to make sure I pack this up really nicely as well. Wow, this comes in a bag. God, lovely, lovely packaging, guys. Really nicely presented and, and packaged up here. We have the AX860 itself, of course. Here it is. Lovely PSU. And, yeah, you can tell it's a used bit of kit. It's got a couple of little marks and stuff on it, but what do you expect? And having a little look in here... We have, okay, let's get started. One SATA harness, which looks to have one, two, three, four SATA connectors on it. We have a Molex harness with four Molex connectors. We have another four Molex connector. We've got our eight pin CPU with a four, actually no, sorry. This is a six plus two pin PCIe, uh, single PCIe connector with, oh no, look. You've got an 8-pin that end, two 6 plus 2s. So yeah, PCIe graphics card connector. We have another 4-way SATA. We've got another one of those PCIe's, but this one is a single 8-pin um, to single 6 plus 2 pin, which is cool. We've got, we've got, we've got 
another one of those dual um, 6 plus 2 PCIe connectors. So you can definitely run a lot of PCIe stuff off this. We've got, what's this? 6 pin, 8 pin, that's a, another single. Uh, so what's that total? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 plus 2 pins all in all there folks I assume that's it for that another SATA four-way harness great stuff we have here's our CPU power so it's an 8 to 4 plus 4 pin got our 24 pin we have our UK power cable and we have another CPU power so 8 pin to 4 plus 4 and then here we have Molex to a little floppy connector there and a secondary one. I believe certain other devices use these like card readers and stuff these days, but I just call them floppy connectors. So a massive host of cabling, as you guys can see, for uh, a very powerful power supply um, that can incorporate uh, six 6 plus 2 pin connectors as well as two 8 pin connectors. Uh, for your CPU. So here is the inside of my gaming PC. As you guys can see here I have my AX650 sitting there quite comfortably um, but for the purposes of this video we're going to temporarily remove it to test out the AX860 which is uh, definitely a bigger newer brother. Um, now I'm really hoping that all the cables and stuff line up but what I'm going to do first is take out this PSU and just compare them and stuff I'm just looking at the connectors just to make sure I'm not going to blow anything up while reusing these same cables because I would like to keep all of these cables that came with the PSU all nicely wrapped up and stuff. It would just make life a little bit easier and save a bit of time. But if not, it's no big deal. I can always use different cables and just uh, run them to the various parts of the system. Well, guys, lucky I stopped where I did because this isn't going to work. <laughs> yeah, this AX PSU... Now this is confusing, right? This is this is what happens when um, there's people update their product lines but don't change the naming scheme in any kind of way. This is from the previous line of AXPSUs, right? So <laughs> this cable actually says right on it only for the use with AX 650, 750, and 850. Now hang on a second, right? They wouldn't make an AX 850 and 860, they don't, but they did in the sense that when it was this line of AX PSUs, they had 650, 750, 850, but now with this line of PSUs, they've got 860 with the 80 plus platinum certification, the other ones are 80 plus, 80 plus, 80 plus gold are they? Let's have a little look, uh, it doesn't say directly on it, but I believe it's 80 plus gold. Um, so I can't use these cables. So out this comes, back in this goes, I'll connect this to all the cables and then we'll unplug it from this end and use the cables that came with this guy. All right guys, it's the moment of truth with this PSU. Uh, as you can hopefully tell, I basically just plugged everything in and plugged it in. The eight pin is coming through the top of the case uh, just for a bit of variety. I haven't plugged in the hard drive or the optical drive or the Molex connectors. Molex is powering the LED lighting and the front case fans so the system will seem a lot quieter now. I've got the monitor plugged in, I've got keyboard and mouse hooked up as you can see, keyboard there, mouse over there, everything really neat as you can probably tell. Um, yeah, let's give it a whirl. So turn the PSU on, lights dimmed a little there which is always a good sign. Um, yeah, let's turn the system on, three, two, one, go. And let's see how we're looking. Wow, this system is quiet. Anything? But hey, as you guys can hear, without those front fans, this thing is whisper quiet. Okay, we're booting into Windows, and I am going to launch Heaven just to put a bit of stress on the uh, on the GPUs, just to ramp up the power supply a little bit. You know, just to give it a true test. So heaven is loading up. Uh, I can't use an actual game because my Steam drive isn't plugged in. It was hard enough getting the SSD plugged in. Um, it's quite congested around this area. Not a fan of this drive mounting at all, guys. Um, just because we're talking connectors of the drives coming out this way and power connectors of the video cards all conflicting and it's just very messy. I'd prefer them to be horizontal. Um, well, they are horizontal, but if, you know what I mean, horizontal in the sense that 
they're going to be facing that way with the connectors at the back. So here's Heaven running. Um, I've actually cranked it up. I'm used to cranking it on the on my main system. So um, yeah, this is actually chugging a little bit, but it is on everything extreme and ultra, so it's going to chug a little bit. Um, but that's fine. This isn't a video card test. This is a test of the PSU. And the PSU fan has now, yes, ramped up a little bit. Don't know if you can see that. Uh, it's on hybrid mode, so when we were sitting at the desktop, it wasn't on, so that was great. But yeah, I'm going to let this run a little bit and see if it cuts out or anything like that. But I think we can pretty much say that this PSU works. Um, so a good eBay purchase here. Um, I will reveal pricing and everything when it comes to the actual project itself. Um, I don't want to give away too much at this moment in time. I already feel as if I've given away quite a bit. But yeah, I'm going to let this run and then I'll give you guys an outro. So this has been running a little while now, uh, on and off. I was experiencing issues with the system, but I, I narrowed it down to the fact that I had an experimental overclock profile loading at default uh, in the BIOS, and it was resulting in a CPU frequency of 3.8 gigahertz. Um, you know, you can you can crank these Phenom Black Editions quite a bit, but not to 3.8 with a Hyper 212 and no case fans and the side panel open in a hot room. Uh, it won't cope with that. At least my particular Phenom doesn't. I know there was a wide range when it came to the Phenom. Some people were achieving great things. Some people were achieving, you know, three anything more than 3.6 and they were cutting out. Uh, but yeah, now that I'm dialed back to the standard 3.2 gigahertz just for the experimentation purposes and testing purposes of this PSU, it's very happy. And uh, this system with its new cooling configuration needs a new overclock stability test anyway. So yeah, I'm happy to do that. One thing that I've noticed is there is horrendous coil wine with my video cards. Not sure if it's because of this PSU. Sometimes certain PSUs and certain video cards don't agree with each other and it results in coil wine. But luckily when you put the side panel on it is much less noticeable and it could have been doing it with the 650 as well. So I'm, I'm very happy with the 860. It's working extremely well. I'm going to call this a success and uh, get this video out for you guys to enjoy because it definitely is... Uh, a teasing video because it's uh, the tiny reveal of a new project and whatnot. But that is that. Um, Corsair AX 860 80 Plus Platinum PSU from eBay for a great deal in pretty much brand new condition with all its original accessories for a fantastic price and it's working. So a success story right here. And uh, look out for this, this PSU in a, a new project over the next couple of weeks, which will be the last major project in uh, IMNC HQ Mark I. So thank you very much for watching everyone and as always I will see you in the next video.